to remove the blur and restore sharp image. It uh, turns out he was lucky because we have been working on this problem for a while and we have built a prototype to solve it. Uh, to show it, I will just load the image into the Photoshop plugin we, we developed. Uh, and you, you can see there are a lot of controls here uh, because it's still an early prototype. Uh, I, to save some time, I just uh, uh, load some predefined parameters which contain only a few numbers. So the first thing to do with this tool is to click the Analyze button, which analyzes how the image was blurred in the first place. Uh, the system then does a heavy lifting under the hood, which uh, involves some intensive computation that I, I won't try to explain here. Uh, the output of this step is something we call a blur kernel, which you will see in a moment. This is a kind of slow computer. Oh, now here it is. Uh, the, it's essentially a grayscale image showing how the image was blurred. Formally, it's called point spray function. But you can also view it as a, a motion trajectory of the camera when the shutter was open. Uh, so the next, next thing to do is to, to use it to restore sharp image. And here it is. Oh. Oh. Yes. No way, that's impossible. That's too cool, Brad. Oh. Wait, there's no way you did that. <laughs> yes, way, you way. No way, no way. No way, you way. You so, yeah, so you can see it's uh, pretty sharp here. Uh, you can see how, does it do, how does it do that? <laughs> There is an algorithm behind it. So a what? The computer. An algorithm. Behind it. Behind it. Algorithm? Uh, What's an algorithm? <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk at Weezer. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, if you look at this small poster, I'm going to switch back to original. You can see how much improvement we have done on this example. Now, our system not only makes blurry images look better, they can also help recover some important information from the image. So here is a poster image I, I shot using my uh, cell phone camera. Uh, my thought was to record the poster so I can read it at home, but I only found out it's too blurry so I cannot read anything. So let's see if we can improve this image. Again, I just load the image into the plugin. Uh, for now, I just load some pre-select parameters. Uh, and because this is a relatively large image, I'm not going to use a whole image for analysis, which will take some time on this computer. So I'm just going to uh, uh, select a local region and ask the system to only analyze uh, using this local region. And this is a spectral case because the image contains text. So we have to tell the system that we're dealing with text regions so, uh, so the system knows to apply some special treatment. Now, would this be like in the next version of Photoshop, for real? Remember we said snakes. What? They may or may not appear in a future version. We, right. don't, we don't commit to timing for anything in a sneak, but... Uh, right. But, uh, you, you can see the kernel here. <laughs> like and, it. and similarly, we can define another preview window, which allows you to preview local uh, results uh, to see if it's good. And here it is. Oh, wow. Wow. So you see, the real thing about Who's the boss here? Who's in charge of all this? And oh, it was you. You two guys. You should do this in the next Photoshop. <laughs> People will really, seriously, I'm just a chump. People will really like this. <laughs> People will love it. Would I pay for it? No, absolutely not. <laughs> I don't pay for anything anymore. I'm a minor television celebrity. So I get free shit. <laughs> All right, uh, just one more comparison before and after. I have one last quick demo. Uh, so this is Kevin Lynch, our CTO at last year's uh, Max. Uh, we, uh, we found this image online. It's a random internet uh, photo. It's, it, it's bad. So let's see if we can improve it. Uh, uh, because this is a relatively small image, so I'm just gonna. Oh, still, I needed to load some parameters. Uh, okay. okay, I'm just gonna uh, ala analyze this image, which should be pretty fast, and restore it. So you can see it's much wow. better. Wow. Oh, we 
have a history of mind-blowing Photoshop demos at Sneaks. Uh, a couple years ago, you would have seen things like automatically removing um, elements from pictures and seamlessly correcting the background, which actually did ship in Photoshop uh, CS5. So that's an example of something we showed at a Sneak that's in shipping software today. Yeah. So yes, exactly. That it's incredible. Well, I mean, that, that brings us sort of the end of the, the, what we have here on the sneak. So um, before we do anything else, please join me in thanking Rain Wilson for being a to sign this for Teresa or I can't go back to the office. <laughs> okay. So, um, while Rain does that, let me just remind everyone that coming up next is the Max Bash. You know, please go over there, come see Weezer, our special musical guest. We will have food, we will have drink, food from Wolfgang Puck, some of the award-winning food trucks from the Los Angeles area all here. Don't forget your hoodies, it's chilly out there. And just once again, let me say thank you for coming to Adobe Max, thank you for Sneaks, and we will see you next year.